Adam, after tonight's forum, I wanted to ask you a little bit more in regards to Julian Assange's request that the Australian government assist him in coming home. Yes. And I wanted to know from the Greens' perspective what you'd be pursuing to see that happen. Yeah, well, the first thing is that from the start, that's what the government should have been doing. When he was under threat, when you had people like the advisor to the Canadian Prime Minister, US presidential candidates, past and present, calling for him and his team to be hunted down, their first response should have been to get on the front foot and uh, call for him to be protected. And uh, they haven't done that. And um, that's allowed a certain culture to fester. So that's the first thing they should do. Secondly, given the situation that we're in now, um, the immediate thing to make clear to Julian Assange and to his team is that as Australian citizens, depending on what happens in the process in the UK, that they've got a right to come back here and that we should do everything we possibly can to make that happen. So I think it's not good enough to just simply say we're going to provide consular assistance and the like. They should now be taking active steps to tell him that he will be able to come back here safely and then do whatever is needed to make that happen. Now, um, so there's a number of very concrete things they could do simply from saying that to then actually ensuring his passage back that I think would make the world a difference and it's what they should be doing. And one more question in regards to the issues that were raised tonight in terms of what WikiLeaks has revealed yeah. uh, about potentially war crimes, criminal actions that have taken place. One of the things that Rob mentioned earlier on to us tonight was the fact that as far as he's aware, no one is investigating the United States uh, attempt to uh, obtain DNA and, and a whole heap of other information from the United Nations. Uh, what's your position on that? Look. Uh Exactly right. I mean, uh, the, it, this has exposed a whole range of alleged activities that need investigation, and the, they should be investigating those with the same ferocity that they're pursuing WikiLeaks. And uh, I mean, the, one of the specific ones that's um, of concern to me in the events afterwards is that the threats made against Julian Assange are themselves probably an offence under Australian law. And so we've asked, it's an offence under Australian law to threaten an Australian citizen overseas. Now, that should be investigated as well. And we'll continue to ask because uh, you shouldn't be able to make these kind of threats lightly without any, without any pushback and without any investigation as to whether it's illegal. Um, I can probably predict what response we'll get when we keep asking, but I think it's important to ask. I mean, and it's important to push it because what does it say that you're allowed to get up and say someone should be hunted down and killed and there be no repercussions. More broadly, take the Afghanistan war for example. We've, we brought on a debate in Parliament that hasn't been had for a war that's been going on for almost as long as World War I and II combined. We're the ones that brought that on as the Greens. Now during the course of that we heard a lot of rote responses from members of the government and the opposition about how we need to be there to stay the course etc. And then we learn from WikiLeaks cables that in fact our former Prime Minister and our Foreign Minister he readily admits that this terrifies him and we have other cables saying we can't see what the end to this is, which is exactly what we've been saying and it's the opposite of what people are saying in public. Um, so aside from the specific investigations, I mean I just think more openness, people are starting to, I think people probably know that these things are said anyway and so now we're finding out about it. Yeah, that's right. Thanks very much.